my guys um, have assisted Meg uh, before when she's had problems with the chair. A couple of the guys just got together and said it's ridiculous that this girl can't get a new chair. You know, I guess there was insurance issues. And they said we should start a campaign. But a whole bunch of credit also goes to the attorneys, uh, Brian LeClaire, Bob Bertram. They connected with the manufacturer to negotiate pricing and all that stuff. So without those two gentlemen getting involved, I don't know if we'd be presenting Meg with this chair so soon. As I got to know more about Meg, you know, she's a, an A student, Dean's List student, takes a regular load of classes. I, I'm, I'm in awe of what she's accomplished in her disability. And it feels great to be able to help her and bring other people together. So that's something we learned a long time ago from the Jesuits when we came here, helping others and doing good for other people. It's, it's nice to do that for Meg. <laughs> May God bless you, Meg, and this chair. May it give you great delight, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's amazing. I mean, they're an amazing community. They just, you know, it's overwhelming. She's been in like a lot of pain and discomfort in the other chair. And uh, we were spinning our wheels with trying to get the, you know, the chair covered and everything. So um, this has been tremendous. I'm not expecting any of this. My mom and I were still trying to fight the insurance and the old motorized wheelchair was falling apart. The Fairfield community came out of the woodwork at just the right time, and I could not be more grateful. There are some really wonderful people here.